Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn, and we're here at New York Comic Con 2013, and I'm here with Bob Coppler from World Events Productions, and we're talking about the 30th anniversary Voltron preview panel. Yes, indeed, and we're excited to be here at Comic Con New York 2013. Uh, we've got a lot of fun things to talk about. Where it's actually kind of a primer for our 30th anniversary, which is next year. But we're going to talk about some of the things that we have coming out in celebration of the 30th, and uh, a few things for the 29th anniversary, so to speak, this year. So we're going to be giving away some cool stuff and uh, just talking about all things Voltron. The Voltron panels are always fun. Jeremy's always jumping around, and there's always giveaways. Yes, always, always some fun stuff, and we've got some really cool stuff in our goodie bag uh, this year as well. And uh, and you're right, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy treats this as just kind of a, a, an opportunity to have fun and really make it a conversation with the fans. Um, just talking about everything Voltron, from from toys to the peril that we have out now in our show Voltron Force, and some potential new stuff on the horizon. There's actually. Uh, going to be some pretty exciting announcements coming up soon for uh, the Voltron brand, and, and we're going to kind of give a little bit of a teaser. There's not too many details that we're going to be able to give, but uh, but there's a lot of stuff coming up uh, in the works, so um, we're, we're excited to talk about it and uh, converse with the fans. So One thing that has already happened is you already had your Voltron Robotech crossover panel. Yes, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So we, we teamed up with Harmony Gold, uh, who is the, uh, the the IP owners of Robotech and uh, Dynamite Entertainment, who is doing the comics. And uh, we made it happen. We finally got the deal together to where we've, we've been wanting to do something with the Robotech guys for, for a while. We're, we're, we're good friends with the guys over at Harmony Gold. And we've, we've now teamed up and, uh, and we're actually going to have cross... Uh, cross IPs going on and uh, it, it, it'll be fun as we sort of explore the different mythologies behind Voltron and Robotech. They're two very different kind of uh, franchises but uh, Tommy Yoon who's a, who, with, uh, with Harmony Gold is a, is a phenomenal artist, has been working on the story and he's really found a fun and interesting way to blend the two uh, IPs in a way that makes sense and uh, you know isn't isn't forced. So um, it should be some good stories. There were the three M's that Tommy had referred to that you had to have happen in a crossover between Robotech and Voltron. Number one was Mecha. Mecha, yeah. Number two was Mullets. <laughs> We're, we're known for our mullets, especially uh, Keith, you know, yeah. Keith's, Keith's mullet was uh, a famous thing. We actually brought Keith's mullet back for Voltron Force, uh, which came out in 2011, and had, we had him shave it for the second episode. So we, we, had to, we had to, you know, up Keith's style to be back in sync with uh, modern times. But I think the mullet is making a comeback, so maybe... In the next iteration of Voltron, he'll have the mullet again. Who knows? Right. And the third thing was mice. <laughs> yeah, space mice, right? And you're a big fan of the space mice, right? <laughs> well, who doesn't love the space mice? Yeah. They're the ones who shave the, sh save the show half the time. Yeah, no, it's funny. with uh, That's what's so lovable about anime is they would just do crazy things sometimes. And, you know, you'd have this big like you know the world is at peril kind of episode and then you'd have these mice come in and Mousetron they, they built this Voltron like robot miniature size and they saved the day with Mousetron so you know those funny quirky things are, are part of what makes Voltron Voltron it's it's you know it's epic stakes but we like to have fun so uh, the space mice is sort of one of the more light-hearted elements of the brand so yeah. So uh, in 2014, you're going to have uh, you're going to be talking about toys. You're going to be talking about uh, you know comics. You're going to be talking about a lot of different things that are associated with the 30th anniversary. Do we know where the Voltron movie is at right now? It's still in development. Um, it's still under option with Relativity. We're working on getting it right. You know, it's it's in Hollywood. It, development can take forever sometimes, and I know from a fan standpoint, it can seem like an agonizingly long process. And to some extent, it does from us as brand owners too. We'd love to see a film out there. Um, it's, it's a lot more noticeable in this day and age with the internet and instant information and all that stuff that we know how much longer it takes for a movie to get made. Whereas in the past, it got made and nobody really knew how long it took. 
Yeah, no, that's an interesting point. So, so you, you, you know, you, you hear about a film going into production, and, you, and then a year later it's out on the screen, and you're like, well, that, it took them a year to make that. But what fans don't see or didn't used to see is the development process. And the development is basically the writing of the script. It's, it's bringing together the vision of the film, um, getting the story right. That just takes a lot of time. It's almost like it's almost like making your architectural plans if you're going to build a building. You, you have to get it right on the page. If, if the script isn't right, the movie's it's just not going to be a good movie. And so it, it, it takes a long time, but it's, it's worthwhile because you got to get that first initial part right. Uh, I guarantee you that the fans of Ultron are patient, and they want it right, too. <laughs> so they will wait for as long as it takes for that right movie to come out. Well, we hope it's not too much longer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us here on Toon Barn at New York Comic Con. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mark. Thanks. Good seeing you.